Hi, my name is Fahad Al-Samayat. I'm an assistant professor of communication at the Gulf University for Science and Technology in Kuwait, uh, and also the co-PI of the Kuwait Disto Project. My research interests are largely within the realms of political and intercultural communication, as well as media studies more broadly. And I'm increasingly interested in questions around digital inequalities, especially within uh, the Middle East. Now, the Middle East region itself is one of the most economically disparate uh, in the world, and it has been for several decades, with uh, many of the richest and poorest countries living in close geographic proximity. And along with these economic inequalities come a number of social and uh, political inequalities as well, which uh, are well documented. Uh, but when it comes to digital inequalities, the picture is less clear. Now, this is also part of a larger uh, interest of mine in bringing together uh, communication studies on one hand with Middle East area studies on the other. Currently, when these two have an intersection, it tends to be around things like specific media outlets in the region, or uh, how populations use social media for mobilization, or governments may use media to uh, repress or disinform publics. And of course, there are questions uh, being asked about media framing both in and about the region. But by looking at socio-digital inequalities, we can really explore some of the diversity of conditions on the ground in ways that don't focus on things, for example, such as oil, conflict, or Islam, for which the Arabian Peninsula is widely known. Um, Kuwait is in a great position because it's one of the world's most economically and digitally privileged countries, not just within the Middle East, but within Kuwait itself, it's comprised uh, primarily of expatriates. About two-thirds of the population uh, come from abroad, and uh, the other third are locals. And amongst those two-thirds of expatriates, about a third of them are from other Arab nations. So by uh, examining uh, a country like Kuwait, uh, we can see not only uh, what the conditions look like here, but find out more about how, for example, migrant communities from within the Middle East or places further afield uh, tend to adapt their digital uh, uses and outcomes according to their host country. Now, um, of course, in doing this work, we've encountered some challenges. Uh, the biggest so far has certainly been uh, the COVID pandemic. We were on the cusp of uh, running our face-to-face -face, uh, data collection when Kuwait instituted uh, a number of uh, mobility restrictions uh, for public safety. Um, and as such, we had to shift our entire project to collect the data online. Um, but fortunately for us, Kuwait is a country in which 99% of the population are not only connected to the internet, but access it regularly. So we're pretty confident that we were able to get a nice cross-section of the population. Uh, another challenge that we faced was related to adapting the scales to Arabic. And we've created the first disto scales in Arabic, uh, and uh, there was a lot of work to be done in trying to find the balance between uh, what's called modern standard Arabic, which is a kind of meant to be a universal form of Arabic for everyone to understand, and the um, multiplicity of uh, dialects, colloquial dialects that people speak in Arabic. And so trying to find the ways in which to translate it that made sense to uh, Arabic speakers, no matter where they were from, uh, certainly um, was one of the areas where we had to put a lot of our efforts. Now, in terms of some of the findings, we're still in the midst of doing the analysis, but uh, several things have um, popped up uh, already. One of them is we saw that there was a high number of smartphone users across all groups. And uh, this probably reflects the fact that Kuwait has such a high level of mobile penetration in general. It's often touted to be between uh, 240 to 260% uh, saturation, which means that on average, um, most people have two phones or more, uh, at least according to the statistics. Now, what we've seen though, is that this results in a smartphone uh, market, uh, which is able to actually penetrate even uh, the, the most economically disadvantaged within the country. In terms of um, other uh, interesting findings, we saw, for example, uh, very high skills amongst the unemployed, which reflect kind of the economic distortion so that you would find in Kuwait and other Arabian Peninsula countries. And that's because, first of all, uh, two-thirds of the population, the expatriates, uh, can only work in Kuwait if they are employed or are married to someone who's employed. 
Um, and so amongst those uh, locals who are here, the government provides them with employment as part of the oil wealth distribution program. And so many Kuwaitis uh, have applied for jobs with the government, but are on unemployment until they can be placed in a job. And so we see these high skills and, and access numbers amongst the unemployed that might look quite different, say, to other countries outside of the region. Uh, we saw, for example, that women outperform men in their digital uses across several domains. Um, or when we compare things like economic uses to educational uses, um, the economic uses are quite high, but the outcomes are relatively low in that domain, which may suggest that people were struggling to benefit from the shift online caused by COVID. Conversely, the educational uses trailed behind the economic, but the perceived outcomes were relatively high uh, for those. And that may suggest that when it comes to people using digital technologies to uh, adapt to learning, whether formally or informally through education, this is happening faster than the business uses. Uh, in terms of skills, information navigation and creative skills were pretty low compared to operational and social skills uh, for the population as a whole. And of course, there are some nuances between the different communities, but one of the things this might uh, lead us to is a conclusion that um, there are certainly greater opportunities for educational intervention to help bring people's skill levels uh, more in line with one another. Um, so these findings and many others will be for in our forthcoming uh, report. It will be Kuwait's first digital inequalities report to be released uh, by fall of 2021. And you can find um, more information there. Uh, this will be followed shortly by an academic article uh, in which we'll examine some of the findings in much more detail. So please stay tuned for those.